Happy holidays everyone! There is only one way we can end this glorious year by playing. I, I suppose Byzantium would be the one way to end the year, but I mean Rome is the next best thing. If you want to have the truly strongest Rome, where you can do all of this in 1936, you should definitely check out the speedrun up here. If you want to be a little bit more casual about this, then you're cool. We are gonna withdraw from Ethiopia and we will do a change of leadership just so we can go for the Kultu del Douche. We're also gonna take all of the important divisions. And by important I mean the stupid ones. You should also turn the rest of your army into cap divisions since they are cheaper and need fewer guns. We're just gonna get some random guys over here. Drop 12 divisions on the French border, 12 on the Yugo border. We are then gonna join the Axis. We are going to produce as many horses as we can. Focus 3. We are gonna go with Terra just for the additional building slots and all that. Rush down to Mea Nostrum. I did fuck up a little here, which just messed up all of the timers. So usually you would just find Albania ASAP, which is February and then just fire in the US as soon as you have the points. In order to spike world fire to 25% and then the UK will guarantee Albania, you prepare some naval invasions, declare on Albania and then just cap the UK. There we go. Let's do something like this. Mm, rest which is gonna drop. Now these are not very experienced or even supplied divisions but it probably will not matter. We do have the British guarantee on Albania now. We have everything prepared. So if we declare war on Albania, the UK will join and all of our invasions will go off. I'm honestly not sure if we can make it this time. There's divisions here as well. That's the one thing I don't like about the strat. It is kinda RNG dependent with how the UK reacts. Although this is looking very good for us. 20 rigorous minutes of microing and reloading later. I never cancelled the justification on the US. That explains a little bit. Fuck every single British person alive. We're gonna puppet Australia, Canada, all of the British puppets. Not because I want to, but if I don't, then the game glitches out. The allies still exist with the UK, but the UK is no longer the faction leader, even though they're the only ones in the allies. It is very scuffed. Take everything except for Greater London. The allies still exist. The the UK is the faction leader of the allies. I'm also gonna get the... Uh, where are you? Backroom backstabber Fibonacci. Because of the subversive activities cost, we can get Bosnia from Yugoslavia. There we go. They all start joining the United Kingdom and we immediately take London. We start justifying on Turkey. 10 days because of the backroom backstabber. Let's just keep on opening other fronts here. I'm gonna do everything in my power to get Baldini a little bit of power. As always, there there's not a single division in the one province that's actually important. Now we also need to justify on Spain. That is one thing where we have to be very careful here. We can also say, Lear, you are stupid. You're almost as stupid as Frank. It's hard to top him. Although he's probably a bottom, so it's easy to top him. Heyo! Now that you have this very consistent strat and super easy to execute, you are Rome. You are now a furry. I mean, wait, no, no, we are not Rome yet. We have to still take the other things. Fuck. Yeah, potential allies in the Balkans. About that. Just a slight intervention in the Spanish Civil War. Just a minor one. Ooh, actually, we do have the most points now. It's pretty good. We got almost everything. The Greek border is looking very healthy. I have no idea what's going on here. Oh god, the anarchists don't have anything anymore. There we go. Let's just quickly squeeze in there. With our great Italian tank division. Great Italian tank division. Republican victory in the Spanish Civil War. Oh, would you look at that? You lost all of your divisions suddenly. Kingdom of Greece has also fallen. And the Spanish are gone as well. And with that, we can do Mare Nostrum. Now we have a very happy man. We can also reintegrate 5 billion territories. It's kind of stupid that we got Czechoslovakia. Turn whoever we can into infantry divisions now. We can also ask Portugal very nicely to join us. Integrate Hispania. Where is it? Which means we do need all of Portuguese provinces. Ah, oh, fuck your... <laughs> okay then, I'm going to send you... Surely you need every single convoy in the world, do you? Augustus Mussolini. <laughs> I kinda like to live as a lion more. <laughs> 
I'm not a furry. This was a business expense that's completely different. This one gives us stability and I want stability. Huh? Why is balance of power dropping? I hate this game. I despise this game, man. Okay, next year, I'm not gonna be playing Hearts of Iron 4 anymore. Finally, we can become Watch of the Eagles channel. Because this shit is just bullshit. <laughs> lost course? I don't think so. The thing is, it also doesn't say which course we lost. You know, I can't even declare war on the Germans and then retake course. Because I don't know which ones are in the event. <laughs> <laughs> Come and get it. These borders are so ass. Oh, we can only do that if we do creatively. Huh, okay. Reading hard. Infantry equipment speed? What does that mean? That's a gun. That's not how guns work. Yeah, the Germans are scared of us, it seems. Imagine being scared of an Italian. <laughs> and the Second World War. I mean, Second World War has kicked off. Look at this. They still have Gdansk and they have Warsaw. The Poles are holding quite well. But they're also scared of the Benelux, it seems like. I have to be very careful here. I need to keep on pressing these buttons. Just because we still have Lost Cores somewhere. This is insane. I think this used to be 1% consumer goods factories. But now it's just 1% factories factor. We will actually lose this piece here. And I think I just saw Sweden guaranteeing them. Was it right? Yep. Didn't Paradox say they fixed that? Oh, yeah, I guess we are a little bit off course from historical. You know what I'm gonna do to make this thing a little bit more interesting? <laughs> well, uh, that's not the alliance I was thinking of. 13 designers get these buffs. 10% production output, 10% research speed. They've really made Italy insane here. Wait a minute, they fixed this. Paradox fixed this. The Soviets now get the event, uh, the war goal against us. I will not give up, that's Arabia. This is actually complicating the front quite a bit. There's nothing complicated about this. There's enemies everywhere. No, the Anglo-Italian agreement has been bypassed. We're gonna tech over to Germany and we're gonna do alliance with the USSR. Keep on pressing the stupid button. Okay, the Soviets have gone in. Let's give you another color and make this a bit more obvious. There we go. That's certainly a flag. Actually, I have the perfect job for all of those useless bullshit divisions. Why did Germany release you? Why did everybody start with purple? Like even this guy. I want a little bit of action before this game ends. Oh god, they broke through here. Uh, right now we're holding here, but uh, if the Germans ever break through one single tile, this entire front can just collapse. I will have to pay attention to some red bubbles quite intensively. Also gonna deploy a little bit of cast that might help with the defense in the Czechoslovakia region. You know what, let's extend the front line a little bit here and let's make this one a little bit smaller. And then we can do the obligatory fascist South America focus. I guess Hitler wants to defend South America. Not that he needs it in this timeline, at least not yet. Mm, I don't think I need claims anymore. <laughs> Can't bypass this. Uh, do I get anything interesting here? Whoa, that's insane. Yo, uh, con what? Only Peru, Argentina and Ecuador denied us? And we still got PP for that, which is super weird. Usually you would lose PP for that in my hearts of iron. Can I get fuel? America, surely you would like some Fuck, you wouldn't like some capitalism. Oh, Venezuela, you would like some capitalism, right? I guess we might as well take the Congo. There's nobody here. We also have too many guys here, so you can transfer to this front. Is they're not really pushing us here. I certainly don't mind the supply range. Let's get more Roman bullshit. Okay, that was it. They don't have an air force anymore. 30,000 enemy planes. That was quick. But the Germans are looking to be sneaky. Ugh. Fine. I'll show you sneaky. Oh god, the Soviets have declared war on Iran, which is actually bad because it opens another front. We are actually running out of time now. I guess that is a complication of the game to make it a little bit more interesting. If I were to invite Iran now, they would call in all of my South American friends, which I don't want to. Ooh, in 20 days our medium tanks can go. And it only cost 15 million Berlin Moscow Axis units, troops, men, soldiers, South Ah, uh, fuck, right, they have their stupid thingy thing. So let us develop South Africa a little bit. That was quick. I already have 3k medium flame, uh, medium tanks in stockpiles. Why do you have light flame tanks? 
it wouldn't be a final game of the year if it wasn't for crashes. Just because I wanted to look at a template, I didn't wanna adjust this template at all anyway. All right, I guess I'm gonna build light flame tanks. I'm also no longer gonna give a shit about anything here. We're just gonna push with the tanks here on auto. Right now, the Germans have lost 8 million, 17 million of the Moscow Axis troops for 800,000. Since they don't even have that many planes anymore, I'm just gonna put up 1,000 fighters. Should be enough just to protect the castle a little bit. I'm gonna call the tanks back here for a second. The Germans can try and push us back a little bit again. And then we wait for a few more tanks. UK gains demanded patriation. Sure, there's a few problems there. Number one, the UK doesn't exist anymore. And number two, I'm not sure why the UK would care about this. But I do care a little bit about this, so... Canada, you're also on my list of very dear friends that I'm not gonna let go, no matter what you say. Why does Möller look so weird? It looks like a mod portrait or something. Let's make the tank front a little bit smaller. They are pushing very nicely, but still... Berlin's fallen and we've cut the Germans and the Soviets up. I guess we can send our tanks into South Germany. Clean up this mess. Oh, the Germans have capitulated. I wasn't pushing. I guess Denmark killed the rest of the Germans off. <laughs> the fact that Denmark still survives. Well, let's do a push like this, I guess. I have no idea what's going- okay, never mind. Oh god, Denmark is pushing back. Let's show the Soviets some good old Italian tanks. Yeah, okay, it looks like the Soviets love them. I wanted a big pocket again, but I just got a bunch of smaller pockets here. Very nice, as someone from around here yeah, would say. Oh no, the collaboration governments are gonna pop in now. Oh god, Sweden is at zero manpower with scraping the barrel. Oh look, I conquered the, the Switzerland. Oh wow, that was super quick with all of my casts that I have. I blinked and I pretty much missed it. It was so quick. Oh, that... Wait, what? The US killed Japan. Oh, uh, sure. You go, uh, FD. Uh, Truman, I guess. Uh, that's. It's past 1946, so... Uh, bad timing, bad timing. All right, nearly 40 million losses for 2 million. Oh, I... Do you also have your stupid... Ah, uh, your next then, Mr. Italian Raj. I never really liked all the Italian guys named the Raj that I know. Which, surprisingly, is zero. Wait! China is part of the Berlin-Moscow Axe. The only thing missing now is Communist Japan for this game. Iran, you could join the Chinese United Front if you wanted to. We can also do the funny thing here. Break number spory, ha 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 ha. They're not even my puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Cuck. <laughs> I think I just stole Soviet land because I didn't completely own Krasnodar. Come on, I want to do this without collaboration governments. Just like Paradox intended it to be when they made Russia into a real thing. Ah, great. Yummy. Soviet pox. My favorite. Fuck Sinkyang. I kinda don't want to end the game on such a... On a stalemate. But also at this point, it is just waiting for China to capitulate. So, uh, if you are a wuss, look away for a second. Okay, maybe two seconds. There we go, we even have all the points. That is the strongest Italy possible. It's definitely one of my videos.